Okay, so we have seen some examples, but now let's talk about lightweight standards. So first start, let's start with ISO standards for stream ciphers. So in 2011, uh, these standards described both pseudo-random number generators for producing key stream and output functions to combine a key stream with plain text. So the basic, of course, the uh, output function is binary additive output function. This means that you XOR the key stream with the plain text directly, or you can use multi S or one output function defined in this standard. This is for you know output functions for the key stream generation. There are five dedicated key stream generators. You know, Mugi, Snow, Rabbit, Decim, K Cipher two. So these are in ISO standard, but at the NIST site. These are not standards, okay? So this standard was last reviewed and confirmed in 2022. So therefore, all of this remains current, okay? But this is for generic stream ciphers. For the lightweight stream ciphers, ISO also has another standard, which is established in 2012. And it specifies two dedicated key stream generators for lightweight stream ciphers. One of them is Enacoro. It supports two key sizes, 80 bits and 128 bits. The second one is Trivium. Recall that this was included in the final portfolio of East Stream competition I mentioned. And it was designed for hardware. But the problem is that the key size is 80 bits, which is too short in my opinion. So let's start with Anacoro and talk about these lightweight designs. Is, this was designed by Watanabe, Idaguchi, Kitahara, Muto, and Fruichi Kaneoko in 2008. A hardware-oriented steam cipher. Design is similar to Panama, a random number generator by Damon and Club, which is a very old design, but it's generally used in you know hash function ideas and so on. Supports two key sizes, as I mentioned, 80 and 128 bits. So Enocore 80 can be implemented with 2.8 kilogates in ASIC. This is comparable to East Stream Profile 2 candidates. So it was really small. The picture is like this. This is the main outline. So, you know, the operations are just XOR operations or, you know, this S8 operation, L operation and so on. So it is something simple. And if you go to all the finishing, you will see that they are just logical operations which are not that hard. But you know, the picture is a little bit strange. But this is where you produce the key stream. Okay, that is the idea. So this is your initial state, and this will be your next state, and so. On. So they in the in their paper they also compare their software implementations, and they obtain these results on an Intel Pentium four. Recall that the competition was in 2005, so this is why you still hear the word Pantheon here. So, but they show that their throughput, which is measured in cycle per bytes, is really small compared to other, uh, you know, most of the finalists of the uh, E stream and also other standards. So they cannot beat Trivium here, but they beat the others here. Also, they provide a comparison of hardware implementations. So as you can see, it requires a small amount of area. But of course, you know, using different technologies is not a nice way to compare different results. But still, as you can see, it has requires small area on the hardware. The second standard is Trivium, designed by the Kanier and Bart Pernell in 2006. This is a stream cipher construction inspired by block cipher design principles. So it has a very nice picture like this. So it has a huge internal state. As you can see, it starts with S1, goes to S288. So in each step, you know, it is like you are rotating this stuff. This is why this arrow is here. So you perform these operations and produce the key stream from here. So it has a very nice structure, but unfortunately it supports 80-bit keys, okay? And although 80-bit is short, two to the 80 operations take some time because in order to produce key stream, first you need to initialize, I mean, determine the internal state, which actually takes a 5,000 uh, you know, 
running of these operations, these LFSRs and so on. So two to the 80 might take some time, but still the algorithm, in my opinion, is not secure because the secret key is too short.